This is a video by Ridgepin. Today we are working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 1998 model. And what we're doing today is we are troubleshooting this light right here. Why is it on? When that light flashes, it's telling us we have low coolant in the engine. So we got to get in there today and see what the problem is. First thing we want to do is check the coolant in the pressure tank right here. We want the vehicle to be cold when we do it because we want to open the cap and look in and see what the level is. See this seam right here on the tank? That's the maximum coolant level right there. Right here on the side of the tank is text that shows you where the max and minimum level is. It says minimum level about an inch below this seam is the minimum level. Now if the level is correct well the next thing we need to do is check the sensor inside the tank. So we want to remove our windshield washer tank right here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Get that out of the way and then we'll lift up on our tank right here. Now we need to remove this electrical connector right here by squeezing this piece, taking that off. Now put that wire out of the way, make sure it doesn't hit the engine. And we can put our tank right up there like that. Now if you look right down here, you can see the wires going to this blue connector right here. That is where the sensor is. So we'll use this long screwdriver right here and we'll pry the little lock over to the side. And there's our connector right there. Now the test we're going to do is we're going to take a jumper and jump the two pins of the connector we took off. Now what that will do is bypass the sensor inside the tank. Now after we do that, if the light goes out, well then that's the problem. The sensor is either dirty or it's malfunctioning. All right, we want that wire to stay right there. So we're gonna take a little rag here. Hold that in place. Here's our little jumper, little paper clip. Just like that. Now we're gonna start up the engine. Okay, we got our jumper in place. Now we're gonna start it up. Okay, bulb check looks good. Let's start it up. Hey, hey! Light is out! So if you see that, that's the problem right there. There's something wrong with that sensor. So if the little jumper right here put the light out, well then the next step would be to take the tank off, make sure it's cold, and clean out the tank with some dishwashing liquid. I have a video on that. You put the dishwashing liquid in there and clean that up and hopefully that float in there will unstick and then it will work. If not, well then you'll have to replace the whole unit because there's something wrong with the sensor in there. So that's it. That's all there is to troubleshooting a coolant level sensor on your Saturn S series.